Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa Elliott, if you didn't already know, and I will be bringing you guys another self-care video. If you're interested, keep on watching. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Okay, so I have already taken a shower and now I'm about to exfoliate. So this is my sea salt scrub that I made in the last vlog and I am about to exfoliate my arms, my legs, my feet. I'm about to exfoliate every part because I am waxing in this video. And so what I love about this sea salt scrub is that the sugar, it melts quicker than the salt. And so I'm able to exfoliate a good amount of time with the sea salt, which I love. And the sea salt has a longer shelf life than sugar. So it works out. And for all my body scrubbers, please use salt. I will be using salt from now on. I mean, it's your option, but I will be using sea salt from now on. Now, the sea salt is a bit harsh, okay, so please don't be too rough. However, I feel as if you are going to get a better scrub when you use salt than sugar because the salt does not dissolve as quickly as the sugar. At the end of the day, I just want to get smooth, sleek, soft skin. And I feel as if that I accomplished that with this body scrub. And also, too, you can use pink Himalayan salt. I just use the granulated um, sea salt. And of course, once I am done, I'm going to rinse everything off. And I will be left with smooth, silky, and moisturized skin. And this is what I am left with after I used this on my entire body. Now that that's done, it's time to heat up our wax. So I made this wax mixture as well as everything else in this video in my previous vlog. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the oven so that it can heat for maybe 4, 5, 6 minutes. And then it's going to cool off for an extra 5 minutes before use. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. I do not have a skincare regimen at the moment. I do not. So I will be using um, my Tone Cocoa Butter with Vitamin E um, soap bar for my face as well as for the rest of my body. That is what I showered with. If I'm not using this, then I am using my Dove Body Soap Bar always. It's always between these two. But what I like to do is that I love the 60 second rule and what I do is that I scrub my face for 60 seconds, especially on my acne scars, um, just to make sure I got those areas clean, especially my pores. And in doing this, I'm making sure I give my face a really good deep clean, making sure that my pores and the surface of my face is not built up or clogged up with any sweat, oil, or dirt. So now it's time to brush my teeth and I'll be using a sensitive arm and hammer toothpaste. And Santo and I have problematic gums. If you don't know who Santo is, that is my husband. And so we do have to make sure that we have a regimen for our teeth. But we will take care of that soon. Please hold while I check on my wax. Alright y'all, I'm back. And the next step that we are going to be doing is my hair i've had these locks in for about a month now or more than a month i had these in for my birthday this is my birthday hair okay from july so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wash my scalp with this garnier fruit sleek and shine um shampoo and i normally only do the front of my hair because it's 
has the most buildup of course because of gel and I do pack a lot of oil on my scalp as well I will be doing the rest of my scalp but as of right now I'm gonna just focus on the front of my hair it's important to make sure to take care of your hair underneath while you have on protective styling. It's always good to make sure to wash your hair, keep your scalp clean, always make sure that it's moisturized. If you need to redo your protective styling, please go ahead and do so. I know you can get lazy, I know I did, but I really do need to refresh my hair and my braids, and I will in the future because at the moment it's September, okay? It's time to redo these things. <laughs> Okay, so the roots are clean now, and I'm gonna be using my Jamaican black castor oil stimulation growth oil, and I am going to be putting this all over my scalp as well as, of course, in the front of my hairline. And as you can see, I am almost out of this oil, but it's really good to nourish your hair, your strands, your scalp. Um, especially where it's always been washed. I always wash the front of my hair way more than the rest of my scalp because that's where I normally put most of the product. Whether it's gel, Gorilla Snot, I love to use Gorilla Snot for my edges, or whether it's just oil just because um, my scalp is itchy and dry. And so it's always good to make sure that it stays moisturized if you're going to put this. Ooh, excuse me continuously wash your hair to make sure that it's not being stripped So I don't know if anybody still does this, but remember when you used to bow your head down for one minute and massage your head and then slowly get back up? So that's what I've been doing with these locks. I moisturize my hair or my scalp. I give myself a scalp massage for 60 seconds while my head is pointing down and then I slowly get back up. I remember doing this when I was in school or when, you know, earlier years back this was a thing i don't know if people are still doing it but this is what i do and so that's all i got to do with my hair it's washed it's clean it's moisturized and i will tuck it away so that it can stay out of the way Hey, all right, so 
Face done, hair is done. Next thing I'm gonna be using is this lip scrub that I use, which is just brown sugar and a coconut oil. And this is the first time I've ever made as well as tried lip scrub. And it was okay, I'm not gonna lie. It was all right. I do always have dead skin around my lips. However, I love my lips to be baby soft. So it did the job and like it was okay. It wasn't bad. However, I still, at the end of the day, went in with my towel. I like to exfoliate with my towel because I do have like a little ball in the middle of my lips. And so that can be the most stubborn. But once I got that off and my lips are completely smooth, then I was good to go. I enjoyed it though. It was nice. Okay, so of course I'm going to be moisturizing my face with my coconut oil and yes the lid is clean if you don't know what i'm talking about go watch my video but yes yeah, so i'm gonna just moisturize my face this is the only thing i use to moisturize my face and my entire body but because my scrub already had coconut oil in it i'm completely moisturized all over so this is what i do i moisturize my face And of course, I'm going to put on some lip gloss. This is just some regular lip gloss with vitamin E. It's an oil-based cherry lip gloss and it refused to come out. But there you go. Got it. And that is it, you guys. Well, that's not it, but that's it for my face, hair, and skin. And yes, yes. Ooh, soft skin, moisturized, feeling good, looking smooth. Ooh, now it's time to literally get rid of this hair so let's go back to the wax so this is a container of flour and my cool down wax mixture so it is at the consistency that I would need to be able to wax as well as mold the I guess what mold the wax <laughs> okay this is what I needed. I needed it to be nice and stretchy and sticky where it can hold form. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to knead the wax. It's this color now, but I'm going to knead it until it changes into a caramel looking color or until it looks like a toffee candy. Like y'all know the candy toffee? Yeah. When it looks like that, then it's time to wax. All right, y'all, so this is what I'm going to show you guys. I have never showed you guys how I wax my armpits, so I got the flower on, and I took my kneaded wax, and I just smeared on the area that I wanna wax first. Make sure that I smooth the wax onto the hair so that the hairs can be molded within the wax. And then I'm gonna take a breath so that I can mentally prepare myself for the pain. Okay, then I'm going to make sure that my skin is pulled taut and yank. And yes, it hurts a lot. So I'm going to apply pressure. And there you go. All the hairs is gone. And then I'm going to do it all over again until my arms are completely smoothed. So I'm going to apply powder. I'm going to make sure that my hands is clean and completely dry. And then I'm going to smoothen the wax on the area. Make sure my skin is taut and full. Bear in mind that the wax is exfoliating your skin as well as soaking up sweat and powder. So it is going to get a softer consistency and it will hurt even more. So you have to be mindful that you must switch out your wax pieces. Sorry y'all, it is too hot. But after I do all of that, then I make sure I clean my arms with a damp towel. Then you must disinfect the area, but I do not have any more disinfectant, so I just went ahead and I moisturized my skin with coconut oil. And that's it. And so here are the results before. And here are the results after. Smooth. I do have to point out that um, the coconut oil most definitely was still on my skin as well as 
sweat okay it was very hot so i had to scrub underneath my arms with some soap to make sure that the area was completely completely clean and then i can put the powder on it so that it can soak up the rest of the moisture that's left on my skin which is why it was important for me to show you guys that i made sure that i rinsed off the powder from my fingers and dried my hands very very well because when your hands are wet or it has moisture or is oil it's not going to stick it's not going to harden and it's not going to pull out the hair it's going to tug on your skin and it's going to be completely painful but you know what they say beauty is pain And what is the self-care routine without scent of the day? So the perfume I'm going to be using is this one right here, Coastal Amber. It is a cute, frosty looking little travel size bottle and it is a day scent. Most definitely smells like I just came out of the shower, in which I did so it fits perfectly. And I love how this smells. Keeps me smelling nice and feeling luxurious all day. But that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do want to point out that I will be doing my legs, stomach, and my Brazilian off camera i do hope that you were able to learn something from my self-care routine give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure you smash that notification bell so you will be notified every time i upload a video and also hit that subscribe button and help this girl grow her channel and yeah i'll see you in the next one Smoke my love